Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Let's take a tour of this $3 million castle in the Hollywood Hills, shall we? Wait, Taylor. What? It's almost three o'clock, you have to ring the bell. To the elevator. To the bell. No, coffee first. To the bell. Welcome to what is, for once, not actually mine, but welcome to a literal castle in the Hollywood Hills of Los Angeles. Step on in. <laughs> All right, guys, I, you know, I've shown you enough real estate in New York City. Let's bring it to my hometown of Los Angeles. We have John here behind the camera. Yep, say hello. Hello. <laughs> That's my brother, by the way. I feel like I didn't make that clear enough in the last vlog. <laughs> Let's get into it. And after the tour, check out this property on the market for $3 million with Douglas Element in my description. My favorite part about this house is just how many different spaces there are. You'll see. Follow me. Welcome to one of the first outdoor spaces. Come on in. Your very own wine cellar doesn't do this room justice. There's a chandelier. When's the last time you were in a wine cellar with a full chandelier. <laughs> I've never been in one. <laughs> but anyway, I just think that this has a lot of use cases, obviously wine, but also zombie apocalypse. All right, where shall we go next? I guess some specs, 4,000 square feet roughly? 4,100 something. 4,100 square feet, so lots to see. Right over here, I don't want to skip anything, is an elevator. <laughs> we'll take this up afterwards, but I just wanted to show you guys that there's an elevator. Also just note, I don't know if you guys care, but I think it's really cool. Like this is just a vent. In most houses, I feel like that would just be an ugly like, you know, but it's it's decorative, it's ornate. It all ties together. Let's go check out the first room. Also, who left that Starbucks there? <laughs> oh, didn't see you there. Welcome to the first bedroom. <laughs> this isn't even the primary bedroom and it is so incredibly spacious. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but like, first of all, this, <laughs> this freaking awesome little seating Chair. You can just have like a little Rapunzel moment every single morning if you wanted to. I don't know if you guys know much about the Hollywood Hills, but they are very tall and winding and narrow streets. Basically Mount Everest. Basically Mount Everest. Very unique. Wow, I'm just loving this castle tour. This is good stuff. Hey, how's it going? Pretty good. I'm a little tired, but good. You seem sprightly. Oh, I am. I'm feeling great. Appears so. How come? Oh, Taylor, one day you'll understand. What does that mean? No, I've just been sleeping a lot, working out, taking my care of vitamins. What's care of? Oh, silly me. I thought you knew. Care of is a subscription supplement service. That makes it super easy to stick to a consistent vitamin routine. Oh, is that right? Yeah, I mean, I've been taking supplements for years, but I started taking care of recently because they make it so convenient with these little individual packs. Here, take a look. Oh, sweet, what's in this? So I took the personalized quiz, which you can retake at any point, by the way, if your goals change. And my pack includes vitamins for my skin, fitness, joints, brain, and immunity. Hey, those are mine. Rose came personally, whatever. Take care of this quiz to find out what's recommended for you and use my code TAYLORFALL, because it's the fall, for up to 60% off of your first order. Offer's valid until November 30th. You can scan this QR code or check the link in my description. Thanks, Taylor. Yeah, you're welcome. But why do you have a banana? Oh, okay. All right, this is the bathroom off the first room. Welcome. How's it smell? Really good. It's Joe Malone, English pear and freesia. I literally have this perfume. Save that for later. <laughs> You're coming with me. Just kidding. This is all staging. I'm not stealing anything. <laughs> Just so you know. But let's not waste time. There's a lot of rooms in this house. Come on over here. Bathroom. This is more interesting. I'm a big fan of this room for one reason only, besides washer and dryer in unit. Haha, <laughs> get it? That's an aside to like New York real estate. Washer and dryer in unit. <laughs> this is a house, so obviously. Anyway. This is the most cool kitty litter box door cutout. The cat just has to go in. Should I go in? I'm stuck. I'll come help. <laughs> Wait, dude, that's gonna get memed way too hard. <laughs> all right, so this is sort of the main floor, I would say, because it's where the kitchen is. Okay, so first of all, please note this incredible open seating arrangement, the coolest ceiling I've ever seen. Take a look. And then lots of outdoor space. I I mean, this is the size of what? Four New York City bedrooms, I would say. It's crazy. You guys, I gotta move back. <laughs> I gotta buy this house. What I think of this house is just, it's an incredible party house. Imagine how many people. You could fit so much spaghetti out here, it's crazy. And then of course, like I said, this is a castle in the Hollywood Hills. So you'll see notes of castle here. <laughs> I don't know what this is called exactly, but it's giving dinosaur, it's giving triceratops. <laughs> oh, lemon tree, that's cool. So you can have your own little garden out here. I didn't even see this nook before. Love it. Oh yeah, and then also just gorgeous bougainvillea. So this one is a little more purple. Usually it's more magenta. Very California, very Los Angeles. 
Dude, even as I edit this, I'm literally thinking to myself, how can one person talk so much? Very California, very Los Angeles, shut up. But now, let's go see the kitchen. What do they say that the heart of every house is the kitchen? Look no further. Welcome to the heart of the house. <laughs> I don't know what kind of wood it is. I wish I did, but I gotta say, have you ever seen a hood covered in wood like this? It is just so wood hood. Wood hood. Wood hood. And then I'm just personally a huge fan of this countertop and this like farmhouse-esque sink. It's huge. It could fit, once again, a lot of spaghetti in there if you wanted to. My favorite part though of this kitchen might just be that you're looking out onto this really, really cute patio area. I mean, that's probably where I would eat dinner every single night, especially because guys, we are in LA. I don't know if you've noticed, but every single door is, is open. I didn't do that. That was just open. It's because the weather is freaking perfect. Anyway, big fan of this outdoor space. Throw a shrimp on the Barbie. Throw a shrimp on the Barbie. You got a couple of them. Big. Dude, this is literally a spaghetti bowl. I would host so much if I lived here. You can also go up these stairs and go up out on that street versus the way that we came in. So you can exit the house a couple different ways. Pretty cool. Oh wait, we have to show the distillery. The owners, I don't know if it's current owners or the previous ones, really liked making their own beer. So they have this area where you can literally put the keg underneath and have it on tap right here. I always said when I have my own house, I wanna have, uh, I wanna have some taps. Well guys, before we get up there, take a little sneak preview. Does that remind you of anything? <laughs> and then I'll cut to the footage of my bedroom. Let's see the bedroom. My bedroom. Let's take a look at the rest. Coming in here, we do have the formal dining, another quick bedroom, and immediate access to that huge patio that we already went out and looked at. Love, <laughs> it has its own bathroom. There's another little outdoor space here, but I think we should go see the primary bedroom. <laughs> Dora, should we go see the primary bedroom? Come on up. <laughs> Ginormous bed, love this. Love that the windows go down into the main atrium, if you wanna call it that. Maybe my favorite part of this room is right here. I would just come out here, have my coffee every single morning. You can actually start to see part of the Hollywood buildings. And it's just very California, it's very LA. And look at the verticality up here. You see all these houses. I don't know if you could tell how steep it is. And then if you could sneak around this, here is a little piece from home, if you know what I mean. Wow, this one goes up left, mine goes up right. Is it confusing? Stop looking at my butt. Stop looking at my butt. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go take a look at the primary bathroom. <laughs> First of all, off to the right hand side, we have a, we have two walk-in closets. His and hers, <laughs> Louis Vuitton. Je ne sais quoi. That's it. Mm, a bit smokier. <laughs> All right, come on in. I really love this seating area. So it's right off of the primary bedroom. I mean, you can do whatever you want with this. It's obviously set up as an office, which I think is fantastic. If you didn't want to have an office, I could see some amazing, comfortable couches over here. Mount a TV if you want. Would you do it there? I guess you would. Kind of ruins the ambiance, but. A ladder for our shark queens. Yeah, if you can't you can't reach. <laughs> I can. <laughs> oh my God, a towel warmer. Incredible. And the after. We're literally delirious. We're both really tired for, well, I was gonna say for no reason. I have a reason. Do you have a reason? I don't sleep much. Yeah, me neither. What were you thinking about? Hmm, not for camera. <laughs> <laughs> so the <laughs> Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> this is my beat laboratory. <laughs> anyway, did you touch my drum set? <laughs> I know you touched my drum stick because one of them has a chip in it. <laughs> I've actually never touched a cello. It kind of sounds like the sound of a hippopotamus. <laughs> kind of anticlimactic. You could probably fit 10 pounds of spaghetti right there. Let me redo that, because that was stupid. I was accidentally just filming your butt. No, it's a, it was a joke oh. for my, oh my God, you haven't seen my apartment tour. That's a whole bit. All right, it's okay. <laughs> 